Hey guys, it's Red. I wanted to make a pretty quick introduction to using the spell Steel Essence. Steel Essence is a very versatile spell that can be used for all different types of base layouts. For this video, I'm going to be using my hunter, Whale. Whale is one of my favorite hunters. He's so much fun to fly. He has all my favorite spells, and he's just a ton of fun. So looking quickly at this and going with the assumption that we understand the basic guide to flying hunters about avoiding damage, yada, 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 we're going to take a look primarily at Steel Essence. How Steel Essence works is it's originally a passive spell. So anytime you have a spell that is in a diamond and is gold, that is passive. So all resists look like that. And then Steel Essence in its primary form is passive as well. So you can see in this video here on the left, it's got that diamond, it's gold, yellow, it's passive. When you destroy a tower, you pick up a spell based on whatever tower you destroy while Steel Essence is passive. Each tower has its own spell that goes with it, and if you check in the offensive section of our website, there is a whole page on Steel Essence showing you what towers give you what spells. Picking which tower you want to destroy first usually depends on the base setup. There are a couple of towers that you tend to want to destroy more than others, but again, it still depends on base setups. My favorite towers to destroy are usually Storm Towers, as they give you invincibility shields, Red Mage Towers, as it gives you the two rage cost reverse spell, and otherwise, it's back and forth, but Havoc is nice from Ice Turrets, Spell Flux is nice from Fire Turrets, but when you get into those, it does depend on base up. But Invincibility Shield is always wonderful, and Reverse Projectiles is usually fantastic. So before we fly Whale, understanding what spells he does have, we have Sacrifice, which gives up a little bit of health for two bars of Rage, Cloak, Steel Essence, and Tower Resist of Lightning. <laughs> Sacrifice is a spell that I usually only use when I'm against defended bases or if I get really hit hard with the AI super shots on mage towers. Otherwise I just kind of let it be. So let's fly on a couple of different base setups and see if we can get a good system going. So I'm going to stay pretty much within my own range. I'll start with my own XP base, the Lady Red. You're always welcome to use this XP base as long as it's set up as an XP base and it's not on the team Rulith. Totally fine with that. The typical XP base setup has either no mage towers or mage towers all in the back. You can see in this one I have mage towers all in the back. Planning this out, we want to look at where our damaging towers are going to be and how we can best avoid that. So from the start, I can already tell you I want to pick up sto uh, that storm tower with invincibility shield because it's a low level tower and be pretty easy. I'll be able to take out that cannon and lightning pretty quickly as I have lightning resist. And I'll bring that first farm down to just barely a little bit of health left and let it ha slow me down as I go to the second half of that original Long Island and hopefully take out that 30 archer before it even has a chance to fire. As soon as I'm within range of that mill, that 31 mill, I am going to finally get rid of that original farm as the mill will slow me down as well. At this point, at the first two islands, I really think I'll just be able to sit at five bars of rage. Probably won't have to use that invincibility shield. When you go to the small island there, I know I want that invincibility shield thrown up because we have some higher level towers here. I will likely take out everything and leave a very last hit on that ice turret to pick up Havoc, and Havoc would be a great spell to start that long island with and just rip apart the first couple of towers pretty easily. And then I can either pick up Fireball from the archer, I could pick up Freeze at the second half, uh, I can even pick up Chain Lightning from the lightning tower, but picking up the ballista with wind wall is going to be pretty useless at the second half of that. Looking at the last island here with actual towers, it's a pretty easy one. I might just pick up freeze from the turret or wind wall from the ballista there and just save myself a little bit of health while I take down those towers. When we get to the end, even though we don't need to use the spells that we're going to pick up um, from these two mage towers, so explosive shield from the blue and reverse projectiles from the red. I'm going to be using these spells and picking up more as I go anyway. The reason is, every time you destroy a tower, you don't only, you don't only get its spell that's associated with it, but you also get a wee bit of health and a little bit of rage that goes with it too, and you'll be able to see that as we fly. So this is a level 30, an expert whale on the base of the lady red, my own base. 
let us see how we go. We're going unboosted today. All right, so we're waiting to get into the range. We're going to pick up that there. If that was a high-level fire turret, I might cloak to avoid taking damage from that fireball, but it doesn't really matter. So get this down to a wee bit of health. Take out this archer. If this archer does fire, I would have used cloak. Almost missed that farm there. So the other reason you want to leave farms and mills when you're attacking XP bases is, of course, it's wasting all these super shots. So you can see this mill is trying to repair buildings around it. So that makes it a little bit easier to fly. That goes for any undefended base. Okay, I know I want this invincibility shield thrown up. I'm going to take down that cannon because that would destroy my shield. And I'm going to watch out for that shield to run out so I can make sure I pick up the ice turret. Which, of course, sadly meant I had to sacrifice getting that farm and mill all the way down to zero health. Focusing on the towers that are going to do damage. Lovely. Chain lightning those back ones. I did pick up Windwall, which isn't a bad thing, because we mentioned planning this out that I wanted Windwall for the next island anyway. This just means I'll have it from the start rather than destroying the Ballista that is on the small island. Wind wall, very helpful. It's like a reverse projectiles that doesn't damage back, you know, stops those projectiles from hitting you. Good thing to remember with wind wall is it does not stop fireballs, unfortunately. So, like I mentioned, let's watch this health after I destroy these blue mages. So I'm going to cast explosive shield, wait for it to end, <laughs> and then watch my health here. See that little sliver up? So that is one of the reasons, too, when you're finishing up where you're flying bases, that if you have full rage, you can pick up more spells. So that is level 30 whale. That is on the XP base, the Lady Red. It's 161 level. And again, sadly, we did miss that mill at the end. But we had to sacrifice that in order to pick up the Havoc. All right, let's try another base. Oop, been hit. Check out another XP base. So let's take a look at this one. This is again a traditional XP base setup. So it's got a lot of lightning towers, which makes it pretty easy for whale, which means you just have to really focus on the, t the islands that don't have those lightning towers. So that small island here with all of those massive turrets, so we need something high damage there and then a re reverse or wind wall or something going on over here. So looking at this uh, and those turrets, I would probably want to pick up freeze from the trebuchet, this 20 trebuchet at the front and just hold on to it. That way when I fire over here, it'll give me more time to do damage to these towers. And when freeze runs out, I'll probably end up picking up spell flux from that level 20 ice turret or fire turret if it's not already down. Um, We'll see how it goes. It really depends how much I can take down without, without using another spell. But we'll see how this goes. We're going to fly unboosted again because it's more fun that way. Always have a challenge. Fireball would have been another good option for that small island, but I like Freeze because it keeps the towers from damaging me just in case it doesn't get destroyed. So picking up that treb, ignoring the lightnings. Again, we're going to bring this little mill down to a sliver. It slows us down. But remember, it's wasting those super shots. Gives us an opportunity to attack these up here. And if I saw one of those fire, I would, of course, use cloak to avoid taking even the minimal damage. Totem destroyed there. Totems don't use any super shots, so there's no point slowing down there since I do full rage. I am going to pre-cast freeze, so my rage bar builds up. So that fire turret went down. We only have one fire turret left. If it fired again, I would definitely use cloak and avoid taking the damage from that. So we're gonna pick up this farm here, rejuvenate, use it right away, so that way we have time to pick up another spell. I'm definitely gonna pick up Chain Lightning here from these Lightning Towers, that's always a lot of fun to use. We have Fireball. Oh, and we got my least favorite spell of all, Stone Skin Shield. Stone Skin Shield is something I always throw away. It's a waste of time, it's a terrible spell. I wish they never would've put it in here. So in this case, we have to use his other ability here 
to just really avoid taking damage. So I picked up stone skin again, which really sucks, but, you know, using the hunter's other abilities is important too. Steel Essence isn't the only spell. So all dragons that do Steel Essence have another spell that's useful to look at. So I want to gain a little bit of health back, so I'm getting rid of these blues so I can cast Windwall and pick up another spell. Gain those little slivers of life back. So I'm going to wait for Explosive Shield to go off and then pick up Reverse from this red just so I can get the health, hopefully. All right. So those are two XP bases flying well. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight into picking and using spells with Steel Essence. It really depends on the base layout. Of course, if you have any questions, please ask. I'm always happy to help. And I hope to put out a little bit more extensive video on maybe some harder bases using Steel Essence. But really when it comes to the spell, practice is what's going to make progress. You have to really practice with this spell because the decisions you make with Steel Essence are very, very, very in the moment. And it's, you can only plan so much. So you really have to understand how the spell works and become very in tune with it. So it is a quick, quick decision that you can make when you're flying on any base. Again, I hope this helped. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you have comments. And happy flying.